If you live in an RV like I do, you definitely want to know how much liquid is in your tanks. But they get all gummed up. So you never know how much is in your black tank or how much is in your gray tank or how much fresh water you have left. Today, I'm going to show you three different ways to clean the sensors inside your tanks. Today, I'm going to show you three different methods you can use that are super easy to clean off your sensors. One uses baking soda and vinegar. Another uses automatic dishwashing soap, and the third, bleach tablets. Here's the control panel in my RV. You can see right now, before I dump the tanks, one gray tank reads as three quarters full, the other one reads as three quarters full, and my black tank reads as half full. Now I'm going to go dump the tanks. I'm going to empty my black tank first. Yeah. Now I'm going to do my first gray tank, and then my second gray tank. Now I'm gonna shut all of the tanks back up. I just emptied the gray and black tanks. Let's see what the sensors say now. Three out of four, two out of four, and two out of four. See what I mean? Those are empty, and they should not read as if they are half full. I'm gonna fix it. Both the gray tanks and the black tanks were emptied, and then I filled them up about a quarter full with just plain water. Now, I'm going to clean the black tank with bleach and each of the gray tanks with two different methods. I'm going to show those to you right now. Let's start with the black tank. If you saw my video last week about disinfecting the fresh water tank, then you know that I like to use these little bleach tablets. For the black tank, I put four of these bleach tablets directly down in the toilet, and then I finish it off with hot water from the shower. The steam from the hot water makes all the difference. The second way I'm going to clean the sensors in my tanks is to put automatic dishwashing soap into the first gray tank with hot steamy water. Here comes the hot water. And here comes the dishwashing powder. It's just as easy. For the third method, I'm going to use the tried and true vinegar and baking soda, also with steamy hot water. Here's another quick tip. If you just dewinterized your system and it kind of smells or tastes like that winterizing fluid, even though you flushed your system, go ahead and add baking soda, a whole bunch of it, into your fresh water tanks or your other tanks and then rinse and it gets rid of that smell. In the other gray tank, I'm going to put hot water and an entire container of baking soda and then vinegar. This is great for cleaning the screens on your fans too. I'll probably let the vinegar and baking soda and automatic dishwashing soap that I have in the two different gray tanks stay in there longer than I would the bleach. But the bleach in the black tank, I'm only going to leave in there three hours because otherwise the bleach can wreck your seals. My sensor cleaning solutions have been sitting in my black and two gray tanks for several hours. Remember, one has bleach, one has automatic dishwashing detergent, and the other one has vinegar and water. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dump all three, fill them up with water again to rinse them, and then check the sensors. I just checked my sensors. And really, all of the methods worked great, except for the gray tank that had the automatic dish soap. Isn't reading is completely empty. It still says that it has two bars. Now I think if I was able to drive around with that dish soap, so it was sloshing around and getting up in the corners, it probably would have completely cleaned that sensor, but I can't do that today. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back and add vinegar and baking soda into that sink that goes down to that gray tank because that's the method that seemed to work best. Okay, I'm back to the control panel. Let's see how we did this time. Empty. Second tank, empty. Black tank, the all read is empty. Success. All done. I added vinegar and baking soda to that tank that wasn't reading quite right. And now when I rinsed out that tank, it reads as empty, which is great because I'm about to leave this RV park 
And when I go boondocking, I'm going to know exactly how full my tanks are. I hope to see you guys again next Sunday. Please subscribe and share this video with your friends. Until then, I hope you're all doing well out there. Have happy travels and be free.